Hi there, I'm Cordy and I'm going to show you how to draw a really cute cartoon snail. So let's get started. We're going to start with three circles. So this is the first one. The second one is slightly larger and is around that little one. There we go, nice and round. And the other one that's gonna be the shell is slightly to the left and ends at the bottom left. So here we go. Now let's start making the face. So the bottom part of the face is sort of, sort of a triangle shape. It's out to the left and out to the right. And then the bottom bit you can make into wavy lines because that's sort of the, the jiggly, sort of slimy, bit of the snail. Obviously the snail's got its antennas one to one side and you want to sort of move the lines apart a little bit as they touch the head so it looks like they're really integrated into the head. So that's the head shape. Now we're gonna go add our eyes. They're gonna be nice and big so we're gonna draw just two lines across and underneath the mouth. Here you go, give it a nice smiley mouth so we can adjust the eyes accordingly. So nice big eyes, half moon shapes again. <laughs> and the inside, the pupils, and another line around it. Here we go, and I love making eyelashes so our snail gets some eyelashes as well. Next up, we're going to work on the edge between the snail's body and the house. So it sort of just is an extension of the, of the shape of the head. So coming down to the left and the right. Here we go. And then the line goes into the line that the head makes and down out the right. So we'll move in a little bit and then follow along the bigger circle because that's the part of the house of the snail that looks towards us. So now we're coming down on that right side just making sure that there's a good connection between the house and the snail's body. Just adding another little line there to make it a smooth connection. And on the other side here as well. It's the part of the body that's attached to the house and the front bit is sort of bent upward looking at us. So now going to the back bit of the house, the one that's kind of facing away from us. It's, we made a bit of a big circle. It's a little bit smaller than that. And has another little one attached to it, another little circle, and another even smaller one. So that's the, the tip of the little the tip of the little snail house. So in my example, I added some leaves and flowers to the snail. And the reason for that is that I actually took a picture of the snail looking at me like that. And the snail was on top of a, of a flower bed. And I kind of kneeled down and took took a picture. So, um, so yeah, that's why I'm adding little extra flowers to it. But you can add whatever it is that you want to. You can just get creative and um, and have lots of fun drawing the surroundings of the snail. I got inspired by it being Pride Month this month. So I'm going to add some lettering as well with some extra love extra heart inspired by the pride tagline love is love and you'll see it in my color version later on what I did with it then but uh, we're gonna do some outlining first with the 0 0.3 fine liner here we go now make sure as you fine line you're really just using the lines that that makes sense for example here at the bottom the circle that we started out with you only need the bottom part of it so really pay attention that the fine liner really defines only the lines that we need getting our flowers in 
I always find it nice when the flowers or any organic shapes just get very loose forms that makes them look quite natural and then with fine liner 0.5 or the slightly thicker one I'm tracing lettering again and around our snail to make it pop off a little bit off the page and the eyes of course we need the eyes darken them getting rid of all the lines now what do you think so i'm gonna give the whole thing a little addition i'm sectioned off the lines there in the house in six because in my color version i'm using the rainbow colors to give the little snail a bit of a rainbow look so if you want to you can do that as well it's really good to have them sectioned off before you come in with your color so here is my version i hope you had fun drawing along with me please do like and subscribe for some more drawing if you just want to color in the snail you can download the coloring sheet in the description and please do tag me on instagram at cordy creativity with your work i would love to see what you created if you're interested in working some more with color then do hop on over to skillshare and we can go on a sketchbook adventure together thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day bye